theta, like how, do you remember if we're talking about an angle, an angle, half, like in making an arc, how many degrees is that? 180. So I have an angle right now that's already greater than 180. So is it possible for me to create a triangle with that theta? No. However, there was another type of angle we talked about, which was called the reference angle. And if you remember the reference angle, we spent time creating reference angles because what was important about the reference angle was the reference angle was the acute positive angle between the x-axis and the terminal side. And we called that theta prime, which was the reference angle. And if you guys remember, when we did this, remember I, I gave you guys, like I said, hey, figure out what sine is and figure out what sine of theta or theta prime was. right? And we did that for sine and cosine. Do you guys remember that? And do you remember the values were always exactly the same, except one was positive, sometimes one was negative, and so forth? But the value was exactly the same. And what that tells you is instead of evaluating sine for theta, you can evaluate sine for theta prime. You're going to get the same value. It's the exact same value every single time. We did three examples. Every single time, it was exactly the same number. The only difference is you need to remember where the quadrant is if you're going to evaluate for theta prime, because we always said that the reference angle is always the positive angle, right? But if, but if it's in the third quadrant, if you're doing sine, or in the fourth quadrant, if you're doing sine, then the answer is going to be negative. Cosine is positive, and tangent it would be negative. But we'll talk more about that a little bit later today. However, if I'm using theta prime, can I now create a triangle with theta prime, or my reference angle? Yes, absolutely. And what we do, I even drew you diagrams over here and told you these are what I want your triangles to look. The way that you draw the triangle is you basically go from your point and you do a direct line to the x-axis, a perpendicular line which creates a 90 degree angle. Now I have created a triangle. Now do we know the lengths of those triangles? Well, if the triangle, that point is 4 comma negative 3, then I know that length is 4, that length is negative 3. Do we now have enough information to figure out what the hypotenuse is? Yes, we do. Yeah, absolutely. We could do 4 squared plus negative 3 squared equals c squared or x squared or whatever. So we have 16 plus 9. Well, because remember sine, like sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So you've got to know what the hypotenuse is. Okay. Because here is your hypotenuse. Yes? Do we have to actually draw the triangle or could we just do the, the, the formula and figure it out? I would recommend drawing the triangle. All right. Okay. Um, as far as your work, no, it doesn't really affect. It's not really the answer is the triangle. But the, to get the answer, it's helpful to look at the triangle. And I could probably say just because you don't do the triangle doesn't mean you're going to get it wrong. But I can almost guarantee if you get it wrong, you would probably didn't draw a triangle. Um, so therefore, oh, this is, a, uh, this is a, um, a Pythagorean triple. So that's 5. I already know that. So now I just need to do sine, cosine, and tangent. So sine of theta, instead of saying sine of theta, we, we can really just use theta prime, right? It's the same thing. You're going to get the same answer. So what is sine, sine of theta, which is the same thing as theta prime? Opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta. Actually, here's your theta. Let's just remind ourselves. Here's your hypotenuse. Here's your adjacent side. Here's your opposite side. Does everybody see why those are my adjacent, my opposite, and my hypotenuse? We're good? So now, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. And tangent of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, negative 3 over 5. Opposite over adjacent, sorry. Now, it said to find all six trigonometric functions. So now we need to do the reciprocal functions, which thankfully for this problem, thankfully for this problem, we don't have any uh, reciprocals. So then, Sven, all I simply need to do is just reciprocate each one. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. I said the wrong thing. Anybody have any questions on that? OK, that's what you're going to do for one, one, two, three, four, and 5. Do not worry about questions.